Hey everyone, this is Ricky Bell with Victaulic VDC. I'm a programmer for Victaulic Tools for Revit. Now I want to talk today about a tool in the Victaulic Tools ribbon under the Productivity Tools called Point to Pipe. Now this tool is designed to be able to draw pipe between coordinates as opposed to drawing it with your mouse and keyboard within Revit. We get some projects from time to time that maybe it's underground services or tunnels or above ground distribution piping that, that the pipe is tilted on multiple planes and it would be very difficult to draw within Revit as the slope of the pipe is unpredictable and the angle of the pipe is absolutely unpredictable. Now however you get these coordinates, whether it's through an automated adaptive point system or from an AutoCAD drawing or worst case through a drawing that may have the northing and the easting coordinates on it, kind of like this one. In the end, as long as these coordinates end up in Excel, we can use them with the point to pipe tool. So let's take a look at the Excel file that we're going to be using for input. So this file here has some coordinates by line. You can see the column headings at the top and the line number off to the left. Uh, there's a column here for size. There's a column here for north, for east, and for elevation. And this is what we're going to use. Now anytime we're reading a file like this, the thing that tells the point to pipe tool to stop drawing is going to be a blank line. So in between each one of our lines, we have a blank line. But if you take a look at the elevation of each one of these, every single point is going up or down, and it's going in a way that it's going to be extremely difficult to draw within Revit. So using this coordinates Excel spreadsheet, let's go into the point to pipe tool and show how we can draw it quickly. So the point to pipe tool can be found in the productivity tools under pipe tools and right here, point to pipe. Now there's a few options and we're going to go over them. At the very top, let's select which file we want to use for our input. I'll grab that coordinates file we were just playing with. Under pipe size units and point units, you want to select what those numbers actually represent. So for pipe size, when I said number four, that actually meant inches. And when I said under the point units, that's decimal feet. So these are the default settings here. And most of your points are going to be in inches and in feet. But in the case that it's a metric project or something else is different, all of those options are going to be under here. So let's do some column mapping. So if you remember back to the Excel spreadsheet, the X axis was on the C column, Y was in the D column, Z was in E, and our pipe size was designated in the B column. Okay, and the last thing to think about here is how we want to place this. Now the numbers, if you remember, were way high. They were under 600 thousands. And uh, you can take a chance at trying to draw that within Revit, just going off the project base point. And if your Revit drawing is 100% accurate to the real world, that may be the best way to do it. In our situation here, I'm going to use pick point, which I'm going to pick a point with my mouse. And all the pipe that is designated in that spreadsheet will then normalize itself to the point that I pick. Okay, so when I click OK here, now because I'm in a 3D view, it wants to know what level to draw all of this pipe on. So what it's looking for right now is me to select a plane. And if you look in the bottom left of the screen, it says, please select a planar surface to define the work plane. Okay, it's understandable because a 3D view can cover multiple levels. So I'm just going to pick one of these pads here. Now at this point, I can scroll out. I can choose exactly where I'd like to normalize all of this pipe that's going to be drawn. So I'll just pick some place in the middle. And the tool did what it's supposed to do. If I zoom out, you can see there are lines of pipe that were drawn based on that Excel spreadsheet. Now each one of these pipes has its own unique slope going on. And to try to draw this within Revit would be extremely difficult. So at this point, you can use the trim command. I'll use TR, and you can go from pipe to pipe. And Revit will finish putting in any mitered elbows or anything that needs to be drawn there. So that's the point to pipe tool in the productivity tools of the Victaulic ribbon. It's a coordinate based system that can read from an Excel spreadsheet and draw complicated piping systems within Revit. Thanks so much for watching.